Okay. So, here is a proposition in that. Okay. So, now we are just in this lecture we are always uh, working with a uh, uh, graded uh, case. So, R is a polynomial ring and if you set up the notation R is a polynomial ring graded uh, and degree of x n equals 1 and I inside R ideal homogeneous ideal. proposition. Let this greater than be a, a, a monomial order then the Hilbert series of R mod i is the Hilbert series of R mod the initial ideal of i. we cannot talk about Hilbert series if it were not graded. The initial ideal is always graded, it is an ideal generated by monomial, so it is always graded. But the if i is not homogeneous, the left side uh, is not a meaningful uh, object. Okay. So, in particular dimension of r mod i is dimension of r mod in i. So, any ob any quantity that can be uh, recovered from the Hilbert series should agree for both. So, this one is the dimension which is the which is given by the exponent in the denominator 1 minus t to the something. So, that determines the dimension. So, dimensions are the same. Multiplicities are the same. And because of this height is the same. So, sorry this in is always with respect to the given and the proof is uh, uh, is uh, 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 the same which is ok. If we take in f f inside i f not 0 this set the complement of it uh, sorry not in r uh, sorry not uh, the set of monomials of r not in this set in f f inside r uh, f inside i f non zero okay this a basis of r mod i uh, is a k basis for r mod i and for the same reason and of r mod in i okay it has a uh, So, this this is I mean remember they are not the same elements the monomials modulo i in this case and monomials modulo in i in this case, but it is the same uh, I mean there is a bijective correspondence. So, these both have the same dimension, but that is not the point the point is that uh, this respects the decomposition of r mod i as a r mod i in degree i direct sum and r mod in i as the decomposition. So, this decomposition remember is as k modules. Okay. So, you can break up the set of monomials in this list monomials of R not in this set by degree and of a 
that set in a fixed degree will be the basis for R mod i in that degree and also for R mod i in i in that degree. Uh, yeah, sorry, is one should say gives because it is a residue class modulo i. Okay. So, therefore, this therefore in each degree the dimensions are the same. So, therefore, rank of R mod i in degree i is same thing as rank of R mod i in degree uh, R mod in i in degree i and this uh, the, uh, multiply this by t to the i and then take the sum you will get the same function on both sides. So, the Hilbert series are the same okay. and dimension. So, uh, dimension is given by remember Hilbert series of m is given by some q m of t uh, over 1 minus t to the dimension m of minus 1 ok. So, if two modules are the same Hilbert function they will have the same dimension and the same q m and multiplicity is q m of 1 multiplicity of m is q m of 1 ok. So, therefore, things that depend if two modules are the same Hilbert function they have the same dimension and same multiplicity. What about height? So, this is from the previous lectures height of i is dimension of r minus dimension of r mod i. This is true not in arbit this is not true in arbitrary Noetherian rings it is true in a polynomial ring which we did not completely prove it. Uh, we needed a, a stronger version of Noether normalization and we needed a going down theorem to prove the statement or, or to prove a statement which would imply this ok. So, therefore, but if dimensions are the same this is I mean this is by by the observation this is by the theorem which we only sketched and not proved and the same thing here ok i and in i have the same height ok. Let us do a quick example uh, to to use this idea and we will come back to this example uh, about uh, computing uh, what is called syzygies and being able to compute them ok. So, R uh, is a polynomial ring in three variables ok and uh, let us say uh, we are considering uh, graded uh, lengths ok. So, let f 1 be x z minus y squared the leading term is this f 2 is x z oh sorry uh, let us call this thing f 2 otherwise f 1 is x y minus uh, z squared and in graded lex this is a uh, leading term. So, the leading terms uh, do have a uh, have a uh, uh, I mean some common factor. So, let us let us cancel that thing. So, let us take f 3 as uh, z times f 1 minus y times f 2 ok and this is uh, uh, z times f 1 uh, z times f 1 will give a z cube and y times f 2 uh, will give a Yeah, we will give a y cube and this is y cube minus z square ok and its leading term is this ok. So, if you just took the I mean we have seen this if you just took the leading terms uh, of the generators that may not give all the uh, initial terms ok. I mean, a, a minimal generating set need not be a Grobner basis I mean ok. So, now we want to claim that that the initial ideal of i is generated by these three things x y x z and y cube there is nothing else. So, we will use ideas of the previous result to prove this ok. So, let us uh, we will check this by looking at Grobner basis. So, let us let us put degrees here ok. Let us let us put r mod i 
and then let's put R mod in I. Uh, not R mod in I, but R mod this idea. This is the claim. X y x z y cube. So we know this this statement, right? It is the other direction that we want to prove. Okay. So here in degree zero, R mod i is just basis is just one. So I'll write down the basis. Okay, and the Hilbert function. Similarly, basis is just one, and Hilbert function is just one. In degree 2, uh, degree 1, uh, we have only killed a higher degree polynomial. So, here it is just x, y and z, 3, x, y and z, 3. In degree 2, uh, so what is left over? So, these are the, this is what we go went modulo by. Uh, each time we see, so degree 2 has quadratic polynomials. Each time we see a y square modulo f2, we can write it as xz. And similarly, each time we see a z square modulo the ideal, we can write, so sorry, I didn't clarify what i is. i is the ideal generated by f1 and f2. Okay. So modulo i, z square, y square can be written as xz and z square can be written as x, xy. Okay, so now, therefore, there is x squared, then there is xy, xz, and y square can be written as one of these, z square can be written as one of these, yz cannot be written as one of these. So that is actually independent. Okay. And then we can check what is in degree 2, uh, what are the monomials not in this, uh, uh, not divisible by that. So that is also x squared. Uh, y squared, z squared and y z 4. So, both Hilbert functions are 4. Okay. So, I will just do one more degree and then we will see that it is actually 1, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4 and similarly 1, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay. So, uh, in degree 3 we have x cube, when we have x squared y, these are leftover things x squared y. Each time we see, uh, so x square y, x square z. If you see x y squared, if you have x y squared, then using this it can be rewritten as x square z. So, we do not need to take x y squared. Same reason we do not need to take x z squared, I mean similar reason using this. Okay. And uh, So now let us look at things that are not divisible by x. So there is y cube which can be written in terms of this x, y, z. Okay. And however, x, y, z, uh, ah, sorry, uh, x square z, x, z, uh, x, y, z is, is new. I mean, x, y, z, x, y, z cannot be written uh, using these relations, it can be changed to some anything in relations. So there is x, y, z and this is all that there is, there is 4 and similarly if you do this there is 4 and then the conclusion is that uh, the rank of r mod i in degree uh, 2 onwards i is equal to 4 for all i greater than or equal to 2. Rank of r mod the ideal generated by these things x y x z y cube in degree i is equal to the same rank as this for all i okay. and this is equal to by the theorem this is equal to rank of the initial ideal of i for all i in n. Now, uh, okay. but remember that this ideal is inside the initial ideal. Okay. So, but uh, R mod x y x z y cube surjects onto R mod in i. What is the kernel? 
well because of this relation kernel will have Hilbert functions constant 0. Okay. So, let us just go back here because of this inequality here. So, this 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 thing here this now implies that uh, kernel is 0. Okay. If, if there is a kernel in some degree j then this module will have more in degree j than this module. In degree j this module will be bigger will have bigger rank than this one, but that is not what the calculation shows they are all the same thing. So, therefore, the kernel is 0. Okay. So, this is a way to use these ideas to to say that some uh, we have already constructed the Hilbert uh, initial ideal. Okay. So, comparing Hilbert function. Uh, okay. So, now uh, I I want to introduce a new topic. This is going to be the uh, uh, related to the next uh, few lectures, uh, which is the following called syzygies. Okay. So, what is that? So, we will only worry about homogeneous ideals now, uh, it, it, it can be done uh, in any. Uh, okay. So, let f 1 through f m be in R, same r polynomial ring in n variables graded. Okay, be homogeneous at once. We can do it in any in any case I mean in more generally uh, you know, for any Noetherian ring etcetera, uh, okay, but let us uh, a syzygy of these things is an R linear relation. So, for example, x and y in k x y has a syzygy y times x minus x times y equals 0. So, this is the maybe let me just use a different letter. So, just to say what is f and what is r in this notation. So, I let us put the the f's in green. Okay. and uh, the okay. so this x so this things in red are the coefficients r i and these things in green are these f's just to okay so this is a syzygy of these two elements okay. so how would we uh, find syzygies that is what we want, but what is the I mean, uh, okay, so observation let f be a uh, finitely generated uh, graded we can even just say f be uh, be equal, equal to some uh, so we So, we are given this f 1 through f m let d i be the degree of f i because we already assume that it is homogeneous. Then we have the following free module r twisted by minus d i direct sum mapping onto i in which a basis element here of degree d i maps to uh, f i. So, e i maps to f i where e i is a basis element of degree i degree di. Okay. So, technically we should say choose a basis element with like this give it degrees di as above and then consider the free module it is graded this one and then e i maps to f i this is a surjective map. Okay. So, what where do syzygies come okay. then r i f i is 0 that means that is we have a syzygy okay. 
if and only if uh, the element ri ei in that free module so uh, sorry this basis is e1 through em basis degree of ei is di so this is okay so this free module is in the kernel of the above map okay so in some sense finding asking for ccgs is same thing as asking for uh, kernel of this this map okay and uh, so then if you know if you have algorithms to find kernels of ring group uh, module homomorphisms then we can uh, find all ccgs okay so this is what uh, will uh, we will uh, i mean okay and building this up into what is called a free resolution is what we will do, be doing in the next few lectures but before that i want to show an example which tells us that if you know to compute grobner basis then we can compute ccgs so we'll do it for an ideal now later i will mention that it can also be done for modules without explaining how it is done uh, but and that is how we will start i mean a uh, free resolution can be constructed so these things will be explained in the next few lectures so right now let's just look at how to use uh, the same calculation as we do in the grobner basis to uh, to to come up with ccgs so we will just do this in macaulay okay so here are it is the same example from the last time f1 is xz minus y squared uh, and uh, xy uh, and uh, xy uh, f2 is xy minus uh, z squared okay in glex and then we want to compute the s polynomial s f1 f2 okay so we we use different convention from what we did in that example but uh, so the leading term is xz leading term here is xy so multiply this by y and this by x and then take by z and then take the difference okay so s f1 f2 we call it f3 okay so this is minus y cube plus z square when we did it earlier we we had swapped the order so we got uh, we got the negative of this but let's keep this convention okay so we look at this so none of its terms are divisible by the initial terms of f1 and f2 so this is our reasoning is what's going on in bookberger algorithm so we will keep it there is nothing to simplify okay no further division algorithm remainder to be taken so we now have f1 f2 and f3 and we actually prove that this is a grobner basis okay but let's we don't know it so we'll ask uh, s f1 f3 so s f1 f3 is uh, so you have to multiply f1 by minus y cube and f2 by xz and then take the difference so we got this one Okay, so some term. Now, if you look at this, this one's leading term is divisible by the initial term of f one, right? X z. So we try to simplify it. Okay. So what we did was we had to multiply by z cube. So o o times o o plus z cube times f one. The plus was to cancel this minus sign. Okay. So we got y squared y to the five minus y squared z cube, which is actually Minus y square f three, okay, and we just check o o plus y square f three is zero. Okay, so this is indeed true. So what is the conclusion that we got? S f one f two plus, uh, sorry, I forgot the subscripts here. It should be f subscript one and f subscript three. Uh, S f one f three plus z cube f one plus y cube uh, plus y square f three equals zero. We can rewrite it to look at like this. But then it just here it just says f one f three minus f one f three equals zero like that x y minus y x is zero. Okay, there is so in this case it is sort of an obvious trivial uh, syzygy, but let's check this is not always the case. Okay, so let's check uh, f one. Yeah, let's now compute s f two f three. Okay, so we ask this is the computation. Uh, we ask uh, minus y square times f two. There is a common factor, so minus y square times f two 
minus x times f3. Okay, so we get this polynomial. This polynomial, it is immediately clear that this is f1 times z square. So we just ask, I mean minus f1 times z square. So we just ask z1 times z square times f1 plus OO and it says it is 0. Okay. So, okay. so therefore, what the conclusion is that we got a syzygy. Now, this is not a, this is not one of those trivial syzygies. z1 square f1 minus y1, sorry, z square f1 minus y square f2 minus xf3 equals 0. Okay. So, the same procedure which gives the uh, Grobner basis, Grobner basis also if you rewrite it uh, uh, nicely uh, and just work through it, it gives us the relations among the generators. Okay. So, this will be used to for us to build uh, what is called uh, uh, free resolution uh, uh, in the uh, and, exp and try to learn, I mean, use that, that information uh, uh, in, in some context. Okay. So, this is the end of this lecture. So, the next few lectures would be. Uh, would be devoted to uh, preliminary understanding of free resolutions, uh, some uh, invariants coming about free resolution for homogeneous ideals and uh, how to use it. <laughs>